y'all. Welcome back to Wind Down with Lee. Y'all know how we do it. Let's just get straight to it. Let me tell y'all what I've been doing to maintain my locks. Don't get mad at me because this may take a little bit longer because I do have to show and tell and do makeup. Oh, help me Lord, help me Lord. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray my hair with this Loxanity Rose Water and Peppermint Daily Moisturizing and Refreshing Spray. Lord, that was a mouthful. I ordered this from Amazon last week, I think, something like that. But let me spray what I talk. It came highly recommended. I decided, let me try it. My YouTube family, you guys keep telling me how you use rose water on your hair. So I decided I might as well try it and see what it does for my hair. Okay, so here it is. I'll have to come back and give you an update on how I feel about it. Now, when I first opened it up and I smelled it, I don't know if it was the peppermint in it or if it was the rose water itself, but I can tell you I was not feeling the smell. I don't use this every day. I'm only using it to help, as y'all can see, try to help my curls fall because I'm getting ready to leave and go, which I probably should have sprayed this on at the end because I'm getting ready to do my makeup and I didn't want this to be falling all in my, in my hair, but I wanted y'all to see how it works. <laughs> that was me being too excited with, with, with this. Like I said, this probably was a little bit backwards, but I'm gonna go ahead and pin my hair back because I don't want to get makeup in my hair. First things first, y'all though, what I do when I go to sleep, I'm gonna give y'all my sleep routine. I didn't have my words together, y'all. Let me get my words together because I get so excited when I'm trying to tell y'all and talk to y'all and do multiple things at one time. So y'all please excuse me, okay? What I was trying to say, the first thing is my sleep protection, okay? I do wear a satin bonnet, which is this. I do wear this, which to me is not really satin, but I have I have several. I have if I don't sleep with a bonnet on my head, I do have a satin pillowcase to protect my locks in the event that I may make a mistake and fall asleep without it on. Oh, I've just always been a person even before I got my locks that I have slept with a bonnet on. So it's probably a force of habit. And I've just maintained that habit. So far, so good with the lint, okay? So that's that. Okay, so while my concealer dries down, let's talk about the products that I use inside of my water bottles, okay? Now I have two different water bottles. They didn't want to be a part of the show, but you're going to be a part of the show. I have two different water bottles, okay? Both of them have purified water in it. What I mean by that, just bottled water. I don't know why I use bottled water to put in my bottles. That's just my personal preference, right? So this one is, this one has the tea tree oil in it, which is this tea tree oil. Let me. This bottle is just tea tree and water, specifically for my itchy scalp at times when I get itchy scalp. I do have a medicated shampoo that I use when I wash my hair. I do use it every time I wash my hair since my first wash video along with my shampoo. What is it? The I can't think of the name of it right now. Let me go grab them. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. This is the shampoo and this is the other shampoo. This one's the medicated one, which is called, what is this called? I'm not even going to try to say the name. That's it. <laughs> and this is what I use as well which is almost gone as you can see. It's pretty much, pretty much out of there. Okay, so I use both of those when I wash my hair and then if I get dry or itchy scalp in between my wash, that's when I spray my peppermint, my tea tree oil. Why do I keep saying peppermint oil? That's when I spray my tea tree oil on my hair. So that's what that water bottle is. Then my other water bottle used to be, okay, I used to use this stuff, which is the aloe vera gel, 100% aloe vera gel. And I would put that in there along with my 100% Jamaican castor oil. Focus, focus, focus. And then I have coconut oil that I use as well. Now, let me tell y'all something. Everybody in my house is locked except for my husband. So when I teach my youngest son how to create his own concoction bottle, he tends to, let me, let me tap this out while I'm talking. He tends to take my stuff and he'll take it into Operation X. That's what we'll call it because it's their bathroom. And I try not to go in there at all costs. So I just, I could not go in there today to get it for you so that I can show it to you because I have a great feeling that that's where it is because he just got a new water bottle 
and sometimes he put things back and sometimes he does not so I don't have that to show to you but I did get it from Amazon it is a blue top blue words on it and it says coconut oil that I, now that's what I used to put into this water bottle before I switched over okay now when I switched over I took away this aloe vera gel because I noticed that my hair had residue on it I did not like that okay so we gonna, we gonna put her away once I realized that I was like well what other type of aloe vera is there okay <laughs> this guy the liquid so I switched over and now I use this the aloe vera liquid form in my water bottle with the same two products the same thing which you can see I pretty much use a lot of this over the course of seven months now so I switched over from that aloe vera gel to the aloe vera juice and I use that in my water bottle which which is my purified water aloe vera juice and coconut oil and I will spray that onto my hair on occasion I still don't spray my hair very often because I don't like the frizz and you'll probably hear me say that multiple times in this video so you can begin your countdown right now <laughs> that brings me to my next point which is daily upkeep baby my daily upkeep routine has drastically changed I do not as I said spray my hair daily anymore because I feel like the frizz game just extenuates <laughs> when I spray my hair so often so I don't I spray it when I feel like it. I spray it when I really want my hair to drop, hang, dangle, do all of those great things. Other than that, I don't spray it. Hey, they're locks. I let them do what they're going to do. So that's number three. My daily upkeep is minimal. <laughs> now, contrary to the lock community's belief is I moisturize my hair with conditioner. <sighs> I've only done it once and you guys have seen it because it was on my ultimate retie lock video. The fourth thing that I normally do while I've been keeping up my lock maintenance <laughs> is I moisturize my locks or I moisturize my scalp. When I say moisturize, I use oil. Let me show you. And let me tell you what's in this before you guys come for me. <laughs> okay, so this is a combination of that coconut oil that I tell you about. This is a combination of regular household olive oil, and this is a com. This is this would would have in it additionally that aloe vera juice that I told you about as well. The reason being, I do it like this in this little nozzle top is so that I can get directly to my scalp and miss the ends of my lock because I know that locks can attract lint and things in the atmosphere so I don't want to do that I want it to get directly where I need it which is to my scalp so I feel like doing it this way helps me control where I actually put it versus when I spray it on which is why I said I don't spray my concoction very often but I still moisturize my hair in that manner in addition to, hold on, let me grab a brush. In addition to that, my sister, when she reties my hair, she will use hair grease on my scalp so that, um, you know, cause my hair is still hair. I got 4C hair. So before I got locks, my hair took grease. So I, I like grease. She likes grease. We use grease. <laughs> so that's just my personal thing. It's not like, you know, we, again, that's just my personal thing right okay so i also so that's my oil and that's my grease i just recently acquired the the rose water that i showed you in the beginning so that is another thing that i use for moisture um in my hair or some type of grease oil additionally i just acquired something else and i'm going to show you guys i talked about it but i didn't show you like this is show and tell right so you guys can see this was the moisturizer that i used in that video when I got my retie done. If you don't know why I use this, then you should check out the video where I think I messed up my locks because then I explained what happened and then that's what led me to moisturizing my locks, okay? But this is also something new that I picked up, for, new to me, I should say, that I picked up Lion Locks. 
I haven't used it just yet. I put a little bit into my son's locks, which my sons, they started off with the palm roll and then now they both do just two point method on the interlocking. And my son, he's pretty much put together like he is. My older son, he is locked, locked and loaded, baby. Like his locks aren't going anywhere. So so to add that to his hair seemed like it wasn't gonna be a big deal and it wasn't gonna hurt his locks. He pretty much can go free form if you ask me. But this is not about them, this is about me. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna ask my sister how she feels about it. If she, you know, decides she wants to, to use it or not just yet. Cause we don't know. We don't know. We will see. Okay, okay. Before I move on, you guys, I just want to say I definitely appreciate everybody for their comments and giving me insight on, you know, their lock journey and let me know how you guys feel about my video because my videos, I definitely appreciate it. I see all your comments. I reply to all of your comments. I feel the love. Thank you guys so much. And um, if there are any questions that you have for me, let me know. One of the main questions that I've been getting is how many locks do I have and um, what method do I have? So I do plan on doing a Q and a video. So all those questions that anyone may have for me, go ahead and drop them in this video. So on the next video, I'll go ahead and answer any and every question that you guys give to me as best as I can. Okay. And don't forget, I'm also on Instagram too. So you can follow me on Instagram. You can shoot me a DM on Instagram. If that's more convenient for you, let me know your questions there. You can also email me. Don't forget about the email. Cause I do respond to my emails. I'm also wind down with Lee at gmail.com email me let me know what your questions are your suggestions are i do read and i do reply because my community means that much to me you guys are important to me okay and your opinions do matter okay so enough of that i lost my total train of thought after that <laughs> y'all don't forget to hit that like button while y'all here because i know sometimes i get to watching the video and i forget all about hitting the like button and if this is your first time on my channel don't forget hit the don't forget to subscribe if you are loving the content so far go back and watch my whole entire playlist on my micro locks and honey if you're loving the way that we're doing the makeup today i do have a playlist filled with makeup okay beginner level and on whatever you choose all right all right that's my that's my shameless plug <laughs> all right on to the rest of this video we almost done y'all only got three more we up out oh before i forget there is an honorable mention i forgot i i was using this okay this stuff okay i got this from walmart i saw this because it said low porosity leave-in conditioner okay so <laughs> I guess I've been cheating because I have been using a conditioner on my hair. I, that bottle is almost gone. I'm not going to lie. I sprayed that a lot. So that could have led to my hair being super extra frizzy. Hmm. Don't worry. I can stop using it. But the bottle is almost empty. Just FYI. Okay. <laughs> now that's out of the way. That was my honorable mention. But uh, my next point. Never Ooh, I need no powder. Number five is scalp sensitivity. How many of you guys experience scalp sensitivity since you have gotten your locks? Hmm, man. Let me set my smile lines and let y'all answer that while I set my smile lines. I have a video where I showed you guys that I got braids over my micro locks. Those braids lasted me maybe all of, ooh, that was a bit much all of 10 days 10 days and that first that first day i was in so much pain like literally i was in so much pain i didn't know what was wrong with me i thought well i thought something was wrong with me i was like oh i gotta get these out of my hair right out of my head i i, I told myself i gotta get these out of my head lo and behold once i took them out I'll, you know what, I'm gonna do y'all one better because this is show and tell, you know, because if y'all like me, I gotta see. Seeing is believing for me. I'm gonna insert a video clip right here. Watch this. Yep. Man, that's what I got. That's what I was trying to tell Naya. Y'all saw that? See what I mean? Baby, all I'm gonna tell you, all I'm gonna do is say, be, beware when you are putting tension 
comb your hair. And, and, and this is no gig to my baby because she didn't know. Okay. She did not realize, nor did I realize how sensitive my scalp was really going to be with my micro locks in. I will say my retie was maybe, maybe, maybe two weeks, maybe two weeks old. I just knew for myself, I want some braids. Will you do my braids? And she was like, I'll do your braids. And I'm going to say this, it wasn't only just for the fact of me having those knotless braids. Even when I put cornrows in my own hair, me braiding my own hair, going to the back, I got bumps in the back just from that. I, any type of tension on my hair, I can't, I can't take it. I tried to put my hair in two little ponytails up here at the top. You know how they wear those cute little hairstyles, which is probably why y'all don't ever see me wear my hair into cute little hairstyles because I just can't take tension. And my head started to hurt. I, I got a headache immediately, instantly. Are y'all that sensitive or is it just me? Tell me because I need to know these things. <laughs> This is madness. I want to do the cute styles. I want to, you know, I want to, want to, want to be cute too. Anywho, so like I was saying, scalp sensitivity is really a thing for me along this journey. Next is going to be my retime maintenance. Personally, my sister does not use any type of gels, pastes, or creams, anything like that when she does my retize. I've done all of my retires on YouTube. You guys see that clearly she doesn't use anything. The only thing that you've probably ever seen her put in my hair is good old blue magic. That's it. That's all we ever use. And this is what my hair looks like. <laughs> Low maintenance, no maintenance. I'm your girl. That's me. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Child was looking all around for my blush. Like what did I do with my blush? Cause you know, we got to, got to bring some color back to the cheekbones, to the face, honey. Can't be out here looking all, uh, dead to the world. No, no. And I like blush. I like blush. I just want y'all to know I, I like me some blush. Yes, yes, yes. She feeling herself. She feeling herself. I kept it real simple today. Yeah. Let me do my waterline on y'all. I'm not here for makeup, but this MAC pencil, you see how easy this go on? It's the truth. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, it's one of the easiest. I'm barely applying any pressure. It go on so easy. And they got multiple colors, and all their colors show up like this. Like, it's just, it's giving what it's supposed to give. Oh, darn it. I didn't spray my face. I'm gonna put this mascara on. I done got distracted playing around with y'all. And I done put my mascara on before I done set my face. Claw, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Last thing, but not least, I got two last two things uh, for me, for you guys, is my hair does marry, okay? I've had marrying, it's been on the back right side of my head where I've experienced the marrying of my locks. And it's only been minimal. It's been about one or two. I'm um, happy hands or whatever you wanna call it. I'm typically all in my hair for the most part, but I've noticed that that happens a lot when my hair is the most frizziest. This, this is the locking tool that is yeah. used for my hair. I have the small locks, the micro locks. So this is what auntie uses to do my micro locks. There are several. I got this little pack from Walmart. I mean, not Walmart. Child, Walmart don't sell this stuff, honey. Get your words together, get your mind ready. I ordered this one from Amazon. It comes with the little the little bag which why don't I use the bag to hold my stuff I got this one from Amazon it, it has multiple in it yeah wow this is the other style this one is just like a flat hook so it goes in from the side it's not it doesn't come up so there's a flat hook this is the one that is used on my locks and it still fits through my tiny tiny locks so all right y'all that's it i hope y'all enjoyed the makeup get ready with me portion as well as the video don't forget to go back and look at the video of my lock journey also don't forget to leave me some questions because the next one is going to be a q a so here's your chance to interact with me and get your questions answered all right till next time bye